97, but coach said uh, with me wrestling heavyweight this year, just wanted me to wrestle heavyweight like that. So. so what experience did you get out of that? I know you came up short, but what did it do to help you the most for this year? Uh, well, I mean, in the finals, I wrestled the number four eight guy in the world, seniors, like everybody. So it was uh, it was good. It just kind of showed me that I'm right there with everybody. And I'm, uh, weight doesn't really matter. And what was the final decision why you gave up football for this? Uh, just like when I made that world team this summer, it made it made it a lot easier to just wrestle this year. And I just figured with uh, Jay coming back, I'm not going to be, be in there too much. So uh, it's perfectly <laughs> fine. And he's doing his thing, so I figured I'd just wrestle this year. Yeah. Where's the biggest area of growth that you've experienced since the spring? Uh, I'd say my weight, honestly. I weighed 218 at world team trials, and I'm 235 right now. So. Uh, just getting up in the weight. These guys do a really good job of it. I mean, I have to make sure I'm weighing something every day, and if I'm not weighing that, they'll send me back up in the room and make sure I'm weighing what I need to weigh. But yeah. You notice you still have the same agility, same, yeah, you know, despite yeah, I mean, pounds. I'm not getting fat or anything like that, but <laughs> they just want me to kind of build that muscle and build that weight in order to wrestle at anyway. But yeah. What will you remember well about playing football? Uh, honestly, the guys. I, I made a lot of really good uh, good relationships last year, and that was probably my favorite part. Is the plan still to rejoin? Yep, yep, spring? that's the plan. I'm going to go back in the spring. I think I have to go back in the summer because it doesn't really doesn't work like that, so I have to start back up in the summer. But, yeah, so, that's the plan. So you're going to wait till after spring practice? Yep, or? after spring ball, and then I'll, I'll probably go after after uh, NCAAs. I'll probably go sit in and, uh, on the meetings and stuff, but I can't, like, practice technically. Is it good to just be focusing on one thing? Yeah, it feels pretty good. It's uh, it's exciting. It's kind of the, I was joking with my parents about this. It's like the first time I've ever really done this. Ever since I started playing sports, I was uh, always on to something and thinking about multiple different things. So right? it's, it, it feels pretty good to just kind of focus on one thing for now. Have you been watching football games? Or? Oh yeah, I'm just, yeah. I uh, I'm rooming with football players, so I still I'm still in the loop with everything that's going on. So yeah. <laughs> what is it just like watching it from that perspective? Uh, I mean, I didn't play last year, so it's I mean, it's the same thing pretty much. Just I don't get to be on the field on Saturdays when it's home. So, but uh, yeah, it's good. It's fun to watch. It's exciting. What's it been like kind of sharing this wrestling journey with Dave from your senior year last year? Will they or won't they uh, finish the season in the lineup to now being full board for both yeah. of them? It's exciting. Gabe, Gabe's probably my best friend, so it's uh, it's fun to come in here and grind with him and then go hang out and eat food with him after. And so it's, it's just kind of fun to see where his wrestling is going and where my wrestling is going. So. Who's the better Black Ops? Black Ops player? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we all played last night, actually, and I, I got a lot of work to do. I found out. Uh, not that good. I'd say uh, Nelson Brands is probably the best Black Ops player, for sure. So Gabe, Gabe has an advantage on you in that, too? No, I'm way better than Gabe. I'll beat Gabe in anything we do. Okay. But Nelson is probably the best, best Iowa wrestling Black Ops player. Ben, uh, I'm assuming he's proven to be one of the best guys in the world. Yeah. Level. You got your hands on him. You took him down. What were the, the major takeaways from that match in your 20s? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing that I'm frustrated with is, I guess, my mindset going into that match. I mean, I, I never go into a match thinking I'm going to lose, but most matches I'm going in thinking I'm going to dominate, and that match was more of, okay, I need to manage this and do what I can when I can. And so just talking with Coach Brands, just kind of working on a new mindset and figuring that out. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it shows that I'm right there, and I just got to keep working on little things, and I'll be right there. What does that do for your long-term thought process, 2028 maybe? Yeah, I mean, obviously it shows that I'm, I'm there at the best wrestler in the world. So I just kind of, I mean, 2028 is a long ways away, so I'm, I'm more worried about Saturday and Oregon State for sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's always, it's always in the picture, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm just focused on what's next. Last year, you were obviously battling both football and yeah. wrestling, and now you finally get to wrestle day one, fully invested in wrestling. What's kind of the difference shape-wise or just mindset-wise this year? Oh, uh, well, I, I got to wrestle all summer and then all fall. I've been wrestling too, so my, sh my shape is probably the best it's ever been, I would say, with these coach brands practices. So, yeah, it's I, I feel great. My, my weight's up. My, my wrestling's getting better. That's, that's probably the most important thing. But, uh, yeah, I'd say the biggest thing last year was just I never – my body never got a break. Right after bowl game, I came home and started wrestling practice, and then right after NCAAs, I started spring ball. So just never really got a break, and then I got a good break after uh, I made the world team this summer. And then so yeah, it's just feels good to be focused on one thing for now. You got a taste of action 